course you do. Of course you do. Thanks, Mark. Um, but no, um, who is, I'll tell you, everyone here is not in these student houses. Yeah, are you in the student houses or not? Yes or no? Yeah. Thank you. Honestly, that was like rubbish. Yeah, so I'm in a student house and it's fucking awful. Honestly, I'm living with the biggest one bunch of wankers I've ever come across. And I chose to move in with them. I thought I'd always be more angry at myself. But like, it's like, it's like things like that. It's now possible because I live with my girlfriend as well and we are kind of living married life because foreplay for us now is doing the washing up. <laughs> right? Doing the washing up. Then, then one night we're doing, we're doing foreplay, right? And we go upstairs and I'm going upstairs like, I can really smell shit. I can, I can really, no, not even a little bit. You know, like, if someone's done a shit, you think, oh, I can smell that. But you know when you think you've trodden in it, because it smells like you've actually, like, well, I actually trodden in No, I hadn't. I didn't go to the bathroom where it's getting strong. I let my nose follow me to the shit. And some bastard in my house had shit on the toilet seat. <laughs> on the toilet seat. If that was more pain, I said, what's that weird sex? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I just, so on the toilet, how do you even manage that? Like I said, I masturbate into the toilet bowl, I, I, I wee sitting down, but some fucker shat on the seats. Not even like a little, I can, you know, I don't accept it at all, but an actual lump. We're not talking like, oh, we don't exaggerate, probably like skid mark. No, a lump, a lump. It left the rest in the bowl as well. And it was just, oh, absolutely, oh, and it just left. <laughs> so annoyed. And I, obviously, I had to clean it up, and I've gone down next morning, and I was, everyone's like, oh, right. Yeah. Um, guess what I found last night? There was shit on the toilet seat. Their response? What was that? <laughs> was this normal behaviour? Is this, is this how you poo? No. And then I was talking to about it, and everyone was like, well, it wasn't me. Yeah, I don't think it was me. We think it was me. You're disgusting. No, whoever it is, it's, I'm the disgusting one. The shit is the disgusting one. And they carried on about it, like, well, you know, have you thought it might have not been one of us? <laughs> Who was it then? Who, oh, oh, what was it? Was it, was it, oh, yeah, toilets shit on themselves now, don't they? Yeah, that's it. To no, 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 it was the poo fairy. The poo fairy come in, and he was annoyed at us for some reason, and he shit on our toilet seat. That's what happened. He pooped on our toilet seat. But that's not where they stopped, because they're that stupid. It's like I went into the other toilet the next day, and I'm taking it's the same person. I hope it's not two different people. <laughs> but this person put weed everywhere. <laughs> like, like literally everywhere. Like, I had to get a fucking ferry from one side of the bathroom to the toilet just to use it because there was that much urine on the floor. I don't know how they managed to... I literally, when I got over to the toilet, the water in there was clean, so they hadn't actually got in there at all. They, they, they danced round, there, that round the bathroom, just pissing everywhere. But what annoys me more is I shower in there, right? I get out of the shower, I think the floor's wet and someone else had a shower. It's not, is it? It's someone's fucking urine. I've showered and then walked in someone's urine, put my socks on and gone on my day. Unaware, I've got urine feet. <laughs> Oh, how can you how can you get to that point? But they also leave their poos in the toilet. They never flush. It's like I'm just going upstairs to and say, oh, left side for you up there, just have a little check. <laughs> I've become the connoisseur of my friend's poos. I know exactly how that says. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Like go on rate my poo dot if I'm in 250 quid a month for my friend's entries. <laughs> but they're worse than that because um they're, they're, just, they're awful. Like, I've got this one housemate who, who I don't think is involved in their, in their poo caters. But he, um, he keeps himself to himself and he eats his dinner and then just goes upstairs to his room. And they kind of decide, oh, he eats his dinner. Doesn't sit and play Xbox with us. No, he goes upstairs. Oh, after eating dinner, straight upstairs. Oh, little, little, little. He goes, yes, he eats his dinner. He goes, I'm just going to go upstairs to the bathroom. And then I hear, they're here, three innocent cops. He walks up the stairs, just. <coughs> <coughs> he's bulimic. He's bulimic. Did you hear that? Eat his dinner and he's coughing straight away. He's bulimic. Housemate's got a bulimic. We've got a bulimic in here. Sick. He is sick, yeah. Lots. But no, it's, it's, they're hearing all about it and they're just, they're, oh, we're going to do We can't possibly confront him. No, what we'll do is we'll tell all his friends that he's bulimic so everyone will know apart from him. <laughs> and this is ridiculous. This was the worst thing I've ever heard because they told literally everyone, and every time this poor boy ate dinner, everyone's watching his every move. Just look upstairs. No, 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 no,
ridiculous about this is this boy, he bought bird's eye fish fingers and he gets most of it from Marks and Spencer's. Now if he is a true bulimic, he would be throwing money away, not in his day and age. If you had smart price fish fingers, sure, then I believe he's bulimic, but not when you got bird's eye, because if you're wasting bird's eye, you're a wanker. <laughs> and that's a fucking waste. But thank you very much, and uh, please give a round of applause to Callum Brookmaster as a team for us.